Good afternoon, First Lutheran Cincinnati. My name is Matthew, and I am your Worship Arts Director. Um, I hope you all have had a great week so far and a safe holiday weekend. Uh, for those of you who know pastoral intern Tyler and myself personally, um, you know that we have spent the last week traveling, uh, moving from Sims Township into a new, ho into a new home in um, Norwood, the Evanston area. And if you've moved recently, you know that moving is not fun. Between living in the final weeks in our apartment in Sims Township with boxes shoulder high, moving in the pouring rain to navigating the small pathways in our new place while we get unpacked, it's really frustrating. The anxieties are high, the tempers are short-fused, and frankly, my attitude hasn't been the best at times. Ultimately, this idea of getting our house just right for our first guests is a bit intimidating. So to say the least, this has been our storm this last week. What types of storms are you having this week? Perhaps you're having a tough time with work, with family members, a spouse, or perhaps you too have moved recently. This makes me think of our gospel reading from a few weeks ago when Jesus calms the storm. The boat was rocking, the waves were crashing against the boat, and the disciples were very scared. And what happened? They called out to Jesus and said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Now, according to Mark, instead of waking up grumpy or fussing at the disciples, Jesus woke up and immediately said, Peace, be still. The storm calmed. Then Jesus goes on to question, Why are you afraid? Do you not have faith? This story has been really important to me this week as intern Tyler and I have been transitioning into this new stage of our lives. Although our storm, is moving in, our storm of moving is small in comparison to what's going on in the world today, we all still have our storms. In spite of all the storms that we face, we must remember to rely on God. That God will see us through in times of turmoil, distress, and even discomfort. We will, however, endure crashing waves, rocky seas, and even loss. But God is there. Let's take this time to pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Let us pray. Holy Parent, you welcome your people into one family and gather all things to yourself. Bestow your grace upon your beloved church, lavish your wisdom upon us, and redeem us from our faults. And by our witness, all might praise your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Awesome Creator, you steadfastly tend to the smallest of seeds and the mightiest of sycamore trees. Spring up green growth of the earth, nourish the growth of fruit, grain, and other crops, and bless the work of farmers and laborers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of the oppressed, turn the ears of those who are in power to the voices of prophets in our own day. Protect those who speak difficult truths when it is risky to do so. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of strength, you are near to those who endure difficulty. Comfort all those who are survivors of violence. Guard the refugee and the immigrant and protect all those who are victims of prejudice and discrimination. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, God, for the saints, martyrs, and prophets who have died in faith. We remember those in this community who have died recently, especially those who fell victim to gun violence on the banks in Cincinnati this past week. United with them as God's children, assure us that we are yours forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift our prayers to you, O God, trusting in your abiding grace. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to join me this week, and I look forward to seeing you in the weeks to come. Have a good one. Bye-bye.